Welcome to Musicology Student Information Onboarding Sheet. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to log in to Musicology to join your teacher, what the settings mean, what all of the icons mean, what some of the features do, and also some very valuable tech tips. So logging in is very simple to do on Musicology. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you must download Musicology Online from the App Store. The Chrome Web App will not work on iOS. Every other device is to use Chrome. All you have to do is press I'm a student at the lesson time and enter in the code that your teacher sent you. Now, please be sure that you log on when it's the lesson time and not an hour before or 30 minutes before because the platform will time out and you won't be able to connect with your teacher. So in the settings menu, we like to keep things really simple. You don't really have to do anything, but it is possible that sometimes you might have Zoom running in the background or FaceTime and it will overpower your video and audio feed. So make sure that you turn those off. But if you do have a case where you can't hear your teacher or they can't hear you, you can just press this little gear icon up in the top right hand corner and check to make sure that you have the correct microphone and video going through. Um, your audio input is how you're sending sound to your teacher. Your audio output is the sound from your teacher coming to you. So normally this is going to be defaulted on to what you usually use. But again, go ahead and look in that drop down menu if you do have a problem hearing your teacher. I wouldn't touch the noise suppression or the echo cancellation. That's more for people who like to play around with the settings. So our feature icons are in the bottom left hand corner and they're hidden in the plus sign collapsible menu. The first one looks like a pencil with a swirl going around it and that is our whiteboard. Now all of these features are activated by the teacher and they'll pop up for you so you don't really have to do anything. The grand staff icon looks like a little piano, the metronome looks like a metronome and the audio is pushed from the student side to the teachers so it skips going through any latency there may be. The screen share icon looks like the world and if you're a guitar ukulele player you can press the guitar fretboard to play around with that. All of these features are available outside of the lesson. You can log in anytime to access. Our general icons at the top are the gear icon, which is the settings we just talked about. There is a little help menu, um, the emojis, which are definitely a student favorite. And then you've got your microphone on and off and your disabled camera. And when you're waiting for your teacher, you will see a spinning rainbow and it'll display the code that you typed in. So you want to make sure that you typed in the correct code, it's case sensitive, and that there's no spaces at the end. So it's exactly how your teacher sent it to you. Now the video icons are a bit more complicated. You don't really have to do anything there unless you have maybe another camera that's set up. Perhaps you have an overhead camera so your teacher can view your hands. All you have to do for that is just plug it into your computer with a USB cable and then you can press the next camera button and that'll rotate through any cameras that you have set up. If you're screen sharing, there's a little pop out remote user video so that you can view your teacher while you're screen sharing and you can enter full screen mode too, of course. Now the whiteboard has probably the most icons there. I recommend just pressing through them and just playing around with what you have there. Um, to minimize the palette bar, which is where all of the writing tools are, if that's in the way of the music that's on your screen, there's a little gray line and you can press that. That will pop it down so it's not in the way of you reading your music. 
you have your basic undo your last step, redo your last step with those curvy arrows. There's a take the pen, that's your annotation tool that will already be defaulted on. So you don't have to go through any extra settings. You just simply draw on the screen with your finger if you're on an iOS device or a mouse if you're on your computer. There's an eraser and everything's collaborative. You can change the thickness of the pencil or the eraser with the slider. You can change the color by clicking on that little black square and selecting a color, then pressing OK. You can select an area, you can draw a line, you can draw a rectangle, and you can draw circles. And then over on the right hand side, there's another collapsible menu with a little arrow. So once you press that, you'll see a lot of other icons pop up. Now, a lot of times you'll probably want to upload some music to, um, or some homework maybe, to your room for your teacher to view outside of the lesson. And you can do that by simply dragging the file right onto the whiteboard. So you would take a picture of uh, your homework that you did for your teacher, and you can email it to yourself or text it, and then you log on to Musicology and just drag it onto the whiteboard, save the file, and it's there for your teacher to view. The Grand Staff and Piano on the web app is MIDI compatible. So if you have a MIDI hookup on your keyboard, which most of them do, you can simply plug it in to your computer. And a little tip is that a MIDI cable is actually a printer cable. So if you don't have a special MIDI cable kicking around, go to your printer and borrow that one. But that's a lot of fun because you can see the keys light up as you're playing. We have our octave up down, there's high keyboard labels, swap the keyboard labels. And again, this is all teacher activated. So your teacher can activate these buttons and then you'll view it on your side. But in case you wanna do it on your own, this is what it is, so you know. Now the notes menu looks like a little eighth note that's flying, it's got some lines coming through it. And you can click on those notes in the menu and they'll pop up onto the grand staff for you to drag around with your teacher. Some people when they're connected with their MIDI piano like to turn off their on-screen keyboard. So you can do that by pressing the little mute button beside the emoji icon or you could turn the volume down on your keyboard and leave the on-screen sound playing. Share a screen. So if you're a student that maybe wants to show your teacher something, you can share your screen with your teacher. It's a Google Chrome screen share. So all you have to do is click the world button and then select your entire screen, a window or a tab. And then if you want to view your teacher, you can press the pop out remote user icon as well. And you can watch your teacher float around the screen there. If you're looking to share audio, then you want to share the Chrome tab. And this is probably the most important slide, tech tips. So we've all jumped into this technological era very, very quickly. Here is some good tips to keep you going online relaunch Chrome every day. So every time you go to your lesson or every day, just simply go up to the top left hand corner of your screen and quit Chrome and then relaunch it. This will clear data that builds up from Chrome. Restart your computer once a week or your iPad, whatever device you're on. Just turn it off and turn it back on again. This clears an enormous amount of data and will make it run a lot more smoothly. Place your router in the middle of the house. Most people have their routers in the basement and then maybe they're teaching upstairs somewhere or they're having their lesson there. You want to have your router in the middle of the house. And this way it's free from most obstructions and it can, you can get a clearer signal no matter where you are. Um, if it is, uh, if you do have a large house that you might want to put in some Wi-Fi pods and um, most internet companies will rent those out to you monthly or you can also buy them online. You want to make sure you stay up to date on your computer's OS as well as Chrome and Chrome will give you a little um, alert that says update. It'll usually flash red or orange when it's telling you to update and this will just make sure that everything's running smoothly. 
And then lastly, you want to manage your storage and data. So if you notice that your computer or your iOS device or your tablet is getting a little sluggish, go into your storage and data. And if you don't know how to do this, you can Google anything online. So just type in manage storage and data for whatever device you have, and you will have all the answers to make it, your device run quicker. I hope that this helps you, and please enjoy Musicology. Thanks. Bye for now.